you're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. We're standing in a field, in a cauliflower field, with David Perry, owner of Nevada Fresh Pack. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Tell me about Nevada Fresh Pack. I'm getting the sense already that they're packing fresh behind us. Yes, so they're packing cauliflower in a Nevada Fresh Pack field, uh, which is uh, a subsidiary company of Perry & Sons. Nevada Fresh Pack grows nothing but uh, leafy vegetables uh, at this uh, period of time, uh, nothing but organic uh, leafy greens. So we are in an organic uh, cauliflower field and behind us, uh, they are packing the cauliflower. Um, all products that Nevada Fresh Pack grows, um, they are all uh, field packed, whether it's broccoli or cauliflower or iceberg or romaine. And that's what the machine behind us is doing is uh, fresh packing cauliflower. It's a little bit more complicated than it sounds to fresh pack vegetables in the field. This is just a sprinkling of what it takes to package the field harvest. Yes, so this building houses all the packaging materials for everything that's field packed. It's 100% packed in the field. So when each trailer goes out, according to the order and what they're packing, the inventory people have to put the right packaging material on that trailer, going to the harvest crew to pack what the orders are. Uh, the rest of this building uh, houses uh, wax cartons for romaine, houses um, cartons for uh, iceberg, houses cartons for broccoli, cauliflower, all the wraps for cauliflower, for the heads, all the wraps for iceberg heads, all the uh, uh, bags for all your romaine hearts, either three in a pack or six in a pack uh, that's, uh, can, that's bought at the supermarket. Um, all of this has to be inventoried in and inventoried out according to each order, each commodity, and the harvest crew that's harvesting it. Uh, it's an enormous undertaking. I was gonna say, this is a gigantic undertaking just to have the packaging necessary to do the field harvest or your organic crops. That's correct. Uh, and you have to make sure that the proper packaging is going to the proper harvest crew for that particular order because there's probably a hundred different packaging materials in this building. They make the box out in the field. They have to put it all together. Put the tabs in, close them in the field. It's all done in the field. These go through a process before they even come to you? Yeah, that's correct. Um, they go through a process called a parasitic acid pressure wash uh, that sterilizes, kills any, uh, any germs that might be on them. We pack the product in the field, it gets shipped, they'll go through the process again and get reused somewhere. But every time they're returned to us or any other grower, they've gone through a parasitic acid wash to sterilize them. And that is actually a vinegar water solution, yeah, basically. Yeah, parasitic acid is a vinegar. It's, that's what vinegar is, is parasitic acid. Now, a lot of people claim organic, and yet you can read that uh, in many areas, there's farms close by that their overspray winds up making their farm exposed to in pesticides, but that doesn't happen at Perry and Sons or at Nevada Fresh Pack. Tell me why. You know, we grow all of our um, leafy greens in and on our own farms that we control. So we, uh, we control any pesticide applications all around us. So if there's a conventional field that's within what we're farming, uh, we control how it's sprayed, when it's sprayed. Uh, always with ground rig, we use no helicopters, no airplanes. That's generally where you get your drift as, uh, from air application. 
Um, so we've been able to control that very well because we control the farms. We're not farming one field of organic in amongst a bunch of conventional. It helps that you farm 12,000 acres. So you can really place those organic crops inside of your own control so that you don't get that company next door that's affecting your crops. That's correct. Uh, that's exactly how we do it. And uh, also if our neighbors, um, they have conventional, we also spray for them with ground rigs like in their alfalfa to reassure that um, those pesticides don't come in on our crop. Because we're controlling when the application, make sure there's no wind, timing's right, etc. Nevada Fresh Pack has a variety of different crops. Which one is this? Uh, this is broccoli. A yeah, machine you see behind us, much like a cauliflower machine. Uh, everything is picked by hand. Uh, it's, uh, the leaves are pruned off and uh, it's packed uh, right here on this machine. Uh, and get ready to go to the cooler for market. It looks like a pretty good crop this year. Uh, it's a nice crop. This, uh, this is a, a, a big crop. Uh, quality is very good. This is a little bit different than the last operation with the cauliflower. Uh, looks like a different sorting method. Well, yeah, the cauliflower is a single head. So if one cauliflower head gets one wrap put on it intact, where broccoli can be wrapped. You can pack single head, double head like they're doing here. You can floret it here. Um, you can put three in a bunch if it's smaller. So everything's done here, just depending on what the order calls for. And it looks like they wrap them with all of the SKU numbers and everything necessary for checkout all at the same time. Correct. It has barcode and everything on there. Uh, so there's harvest date information. Everything's right there. And so you actually match the delivery to the order. That's correct. The order comes from, from the office, comes out to the field, they pack the orders. Fresh. Pack. Every day. Nevada Fresh Pack. Nevada Fresh Pack. Every day. Celery. Yes, sir. Packaged here again on site. Uh, what's the bath all about here? Uh, that's a parasitic uh, acid and water, uh, 160 parts per million, um, to uh, wash the dirt off and sterilize the product. And I see a couple of different size bags going on here. So again, to order. Yeah, everything's packed in the field to order. Um, you know, celery is like uh, people. Not all of it grows the same length. So some of it's shorter, it gets packed in a certain pack. Some of it's longer, it's a different pack. Uh, all depends what the customers want. But it's like they have a system going here that's a well-oiled machine. Uh, they definitely have a system. Um, they, uh, they, they all are very good at what they do. They, uh, they know the different lengths, how to cut it, how to process it, how to pack it. Uh, impressive to watch. What are we picking on this farm? Uh, we're picking kale. So this kale is uh, all stripped off the plant. Uh, if you watch them, and then it's put in a bunch. They put the twist on it, has the barcode on it, um, the skew number, and uh, it's all packed right here in the field in, in the cartons. And from here, it'll go on the trailer, go to the uh, go to the cooler, and get cooled. You know, one of the things I'm noticing here is you've left the plant intact, so this regrows. Yes. So uh, they strip the leaves that are ready, and then it'll grow more leaves. And you can come back in two, three weeks and you can strip the big leaves off of it again and pack again. Hand harvest versus machine harvest. I'm noticing that predominantly everything out here is picked by hand. Yeah. Well, hand harvest, they're picking only the finest leaves to go to the store. And if you were to machine harvest, you're also going to get some of the bad leaves because a plant doesn't have all perfect leaves on it like a tree does it. And so hand harvest is all about quality. 
So these are a beautiful uh, rainbow chards, they're called. They kind of taste like a beet. And then over there we have green chards. Um, so they're all green, same family. Uh, they're also uh, packed in the field, put in a bunch, um, and uh, sent to the cooler, cooled, and uh, shipped from there. Used in cooking and preparing a fine dish laid out on the rainbow charts, uh, juiced? Uh, yes, it is used to lay out a fine dish. Uh, uh, they'll use kale, they'll use, uh, they'll use chards. Uh, generally a kale leaf is a little thicker. Um, but most of this will end up being used for juice. Just miles and miles of farming. Beautiful color spectrum here, color palette. Uh, red romaine, green romaine. Uh, these are what go into your salad mixes uh, that you buy in the supermarket. So we grow these. We grow the uh, kales that go in your salad mix, the arugulas like wild arugula, uh, the spinach, the baby spinach. Uh, we do uh, about between 25 and 30 million pounds a year of that also. Well, you pack them here in the field, but there's still additional handling necessary before they ever hit the shelf. Uh, yes, from here, once they're packed, uh, they're put in refrigerated trailers and they're hauled to our facility, Walker River Cooling, to cool the product. Uh, all the product, we take the core temperature down to like 33, 34 degrees, so you have a long shelf life. If you don't take the field heat out of leafy green products, the shelf life, they'll just melt. So everything goes from field into the cooler, Walker River Cooling, to be cooled and then shipped as the trucks show, show up to distribution from there. Well, Walker River Cooling is a state-of-the-art facility, brand new, so let's go take a look at that. Okay. What do we have here behind us? These are called vacuum coolers. Okay, so they're extracting the heat out of the field product when it comes in under a vacuum with ammonia refrigeration to pull the core heat out of all the product. That's what creates shelf life. Once they get all the core heat out, they open up, the product comes out, the product's brought into Walker River Cooling to be kept at 33, 34 degrees. You do not want to break the cold chain as long as you keep leafy greens cold, you have a long, long shelf life. They don't do well sitting out on your kitchen counter, but they do very well kept in the refrigerator. So that's what we're doing. Pre-cooling, keeping it cold until the trucks arrive to be shipped to destination. Now, the use of ammonia is a rather expensive undertaking. This is a brand new facility, the Walker River Cooling, and a lot of money, uh, but for a purpose for our environment. So explain the difference and how this affects the ozone. Well, ammonia does not deplete ozone. Uh, Freon, which is in your uh, air conditioning unit at your house, if it escapes, it can deplete ozone. Where ammonia is more green, it's natural occurring ammonia, does not deplete ozone. So ammonia is, is the green way to cool things. Packed, brought into the Walker River cooling facility to go where? Uh, well, go all over the country. Some of this stuff, like this right behind me, is uh, going to Boston, a uh, company uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a packer, packs this in clamshells uh, in the bags that you buy in the store mix up the different mixes. Um, so it goes all over the U.S. Uh, some will get loaded on an airplane and end up in Hawaii. How many pounds, how many truckloads does this facility accommodate throughout a year? Uh, we do about 25, 30 semi-loads a day in season. 
our season's like about a 21, 22 week season. Uh, should should end up moving about 60 million to 65 million pounds to this facility this season. I was talking to you about this and I was really compelled by what you said about food safety standards. You know, the bar is here for the industry, but it means more than that to you. Yeah, well, we like to take it a notch or two above. We like to do whatever we build, whatever we do. Our equipment, uh, we clean it two times a day. The industry doesn't call for that. Uh, we parasitic acid the facility daily. The industry doesn't call for that. We like to go up and beyond for sanitation to keep the product clean. It's your reputation, it's what's important to you. It's all about reputation and doing things right. information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety visit nvbusinesschronicles.com while you're there you can watch all of our past shows on the chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media now more from nevada business chronicles back at carpenter's music world with wendell carpenter last week we said we were going to look at brand spanking new piano rentals and today we're standing in front of one of those, a Pearl River. Wow, I can't even believe you can rent one of these. Yeah, we've just pretty much outdone ourselves on this one. We want this to be a, a very nice piano, one that someone can put in his home, a uh, nice home and uh, it'll look nice and enhance the living room. Nice quality piano, one that uh, will actually make a student do better at his lesson than he would do otherwise. And it's affordable. This, this piano you can rent for under $100 a month. Okay, that's just unbelievable. I, for under $100 a month, I mean, you could go out one night dinner and spend more than $100. Yet you could have a piano, a brand new Pearl River piano in your house. And tell me, under 100 so what is under 100 That's the fantastic part. You can start getting this piano for only $97.50. Only $97.50? Well, yeah, ninety-seven fifty plus delivery and pickup, of course. Well, all right. It's almost unbelievable I can get a new piano delivered that reasonably. Tell me about the rest of the terms. So the first part is the down payment. Tell me how that works. Yeah, the six months, you can rent it for six months. That becomes the down payment. If at that time you need to return it for whatever reason, you can return it. No obligation, no strings attached. If you wanted to keep it, however, then it revolves over onto a regular contract and you continue making payments, 9750 uh, for the remainder of the contract and it's yours. And the total length of the contract is a reasonable term too. I mean, this is not a 30 year house payment. That's right, it's about 60 months. This is fantastic. So 1090, Kitsky Lane, Carpenter's Music World, Wendell Carpenter, thank you so much for having us back. Find them on the internet at carpentersmusic.com. Give them a call, 775-852-7618. Rent a piano today. Be the best thing you've ever done for your family and your home. Thanks again. Carpenter's Music World pre-holiday clearance experience is October 18th through the 21st. Check out deep discounts on everything in the store just in time for the holidays. From brass to strings, percussion to woodwinds, you'll find accessories and sheet music too, all on sale. You'll find extraordinary holiday gift ideas. Maximize your child's musical experience with a high quality piano. You'll find piano rentals as low as $25 per month. It's Carpenter's Music World for the holidays, October 18th through the 21st, 1090 Kitsky Lane. Reno. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. If you recognize this face, you should. This is Brett Edmonds, now 
Integrity One Business Branding Solutions. Brett, good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Mitch. Thanks a lot for coming by. Big news. Yeah, the new news. company. It is. It's huge news. You know, we, we've transformed our business from a decorator over to a distributorship, and uh, the possibilities are endless of what we can do now. Um, we, we were very diverse in our old decorating shop, but we're even more diverse now that uh, we can provide a clientele with uh, much more items and much more apparel, much more uh, promotional items. Let's talk about what business branding solutions is. And you just said it, promotional items, but it's deeper than that now. You are far more diverse than ever before. We are. We work with a completely different clientele now. You know, we're working with ad agencies and web developers and those type of people. And uh, what we can do for them is put just another little niche in their pocket for them. And uh, we can be their good partner. Well, let's take a look at some of the items that brand a business. Awesome. Let's do it. Well, this is business branding at its finest. Every business needs one of these. You bet they do. If they go outside of their office to an event and they need their name displayed somewhere, there's a perfect opportunity to do it at a very low cost. At the end of the day, it folds into itself so that it stays safe for the next event and it doesn't get damaged. Most certainly. Genius, affordable business branding. Yes, sir. Let's look at some apparel because this is a very common way for businesses to brand themselves. One of the most common and effective ways to brand your business is to always be wearing apparel that has your brand on it. And it doesn't matter if you're a company that needs it for safety or if you're a company that uh, is reselling it and or maybe you're doing it uh, for school uniforms. Uh, we could supply anybody with the apparel needed to brand their own business. Now, I'm noticing that there's different styles of application here. So let's talk about some of the diversity going on right here. Most certainly. You know, apparel can either be screen printed or it could be embroidered. This is an embroidered hat. Uh, different locations on your hats. You can uh, embroider your shirts. Uh, your safety vest can be embroidered on the front and then screen printed on the back. Just a nice lightweight jacket that has been embroidered. It's just beautiful. And again, for a company like this, a safety item all at one time. And not only safety, but you're not going to miss this employee. This might be one of the coolest branding solutions I've ever seen. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do this. Those are mints. Just take them out. Very inexpensive. And people will remember your name Most every certainly. time they use Most this. Certainly. They walk out of your office and they grab something like that. Or That's the fun part about the promotional end of this, Mitch, is that it is endless, absolutely endless. You can get anything you want to put your logo on. We have the ability to get it for you now. This could be one of the coolest things because everybody who fishes and knows Pyramid Lake would want one of these and you supply Crosby's Lodge. We do. These pins. We do. I have a 10 pound one. This is a 20 pound one. You gotta earn it. <laughs> <can't take> it. <laughs> now let's talk about some of the other items you have here because traditional pens and pencils, but you have even an upscale version of that. Even high end pens. We can, we can get pretty much any writing utensil you would like. This is interesting. You talk about marketing and branding and you've got a local store and you want to leave somebody with your presence even when they leave your location. Even when they leave, you know, they sell products and they put the products inside of that bag and the customer leaves with their name. Do you make decoys? We do not actually make the decoys, but something really cool about this, Mitch, is that we could certainly personalize it for you. And you can actually laser engrave them. We can, right here in house. This is one of the things I love about Integrity One Business Branding Solutions. If they can think it, you can probably deliver it. Most certainly. We it, can put your logo on just about anything. Well, let's look at some other items that are great for business branding. You know, 4th of July, and you want to give your clients a gift, and you can put your personal logo, personal logo. on What are some of your favorite items? Well, some of my favorite items are the, are the fun items, uh, like the squeeze balls. These are just, everybody is into the squeeze balls. Just like they're into the fidget spinners now, we can put your company logo on fidget spinners, squeeze balls, um, chapstick. Golf balls? Golf balls. Please call yes. if lost. If lost, please call this company. <laughs> <laughs> it's great stuff because anybody who loses a ball, somebody finds it, yeah. they're going to know their company. It's branding. Exactly. All yeah. at the same time. Window stickers. We can do in clear background, uh, colored backgrounds, uh, different colors. 
Um, obviously, pens are a huge seller for us, um, but uh, anything. This is your catalog. This is our apparel catalog. Apparel catalog. Apparel only. And this doesn't even count all the personalized items. No. This is the real deal. This is what a distributor is, is you can do anything a company could need to brand their company, not limited by the resources of the past. Exactly right. I want to talk about these products because this really exemplifies the diversity of what you're capable of doing because you're a distributor and you work with other companies. Exactly. You know, Mitch, this is something we used to do in-house um, when we were a decorator. Um, we work with a fantastic local company that does the actual etching for us now. We do all the painting, the design work, artwork, and uh, work with the clientele. But I just want everybody to know that we do outsource this to a great local company. Some of the stuff you outsource, some of the stuff you in-house, but that's what integrity means. It's not just a name. Exactly it's right. who you are as a business owner and why I'm so proud to feature your new company. I appreciate that. And that is how we run our company. I might have to reconsider, and I think other golfers might actually join me. This may be my favorite item. Yeah, me being an avid golfer, you know, I use a golf towel every time I go out. And why not personalize your own business on your Every golf time somebody sees it, they think of your company. And it's more than that. Divot tools. Ball markers, you name it, we can put your company logo on it, and you can be advertising yourself when you're out playing golf. Well, that's the thing that I love. I never really thought about all the ways that you can brand your, your business, and that's what you do. Exactly what we do, and we try to do it in a benefit your way. Another option. It just never ends. That's Brett Edmonds, Integrity One Business Branding Solutions. You can find them on the internet at Integrity Number One bbs.com or give them a call at 775-870-9849. Brett, thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Mitch. It's been a pleasure. Carpenters Music World pre-holiday clearance experience is October 18th through the 21st. Check out deep discounts on everything in the store just in time for the holidays. From brass to strings, percussion to woodwinds, you'll find accessories and sheet music too. All on sale. You'll find extraordinary holiday gift ideas. Maximize your child's musical experience with a high quality piano. You'll find piano rentals as low as $25 per month. It's Carpenters Music World for the holidays. October 18th through the 21st, 1090 Kitsky Lane, Reno. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.